Pirate Pool is the official can-cutting game of zombie tools. It is played by two singles or two teams of two. The winner of a coin toss chooses to cut or rack the table. The table measures roughly two feet by six feet. The player chosen to rack sets up nine cans. Cans must be set firmly on the table and not leaning or hanging off the edge. Setting up the cans is a very strategic part of the game. Set them up to be challenging, but remember, if your opponent fails to cut a minimum of two cans, the player who set up the cans must now cut. And don't forget, cans must be placed at least one inch apart unless they are stacked. Cans can be stacked for more advanced players. For cutting a stack, a single sweeping motion back and forth without pausing is considered one swing. A minimum of two cans must be cut cleanly in half in order to score. Leaving one can on the table is a loss of turn. You cannot cut just one can. To run the table for a perfect round, a player must cut three cans at least once in order to cut the next rack table. If a can is knocked over or not cut all the way through, that player's turn is over. Only fully successful swings are scored. For instance, if a player swings at three cans, cuts through two but only partially cuts through the third, no points are awarded. If a player hits the table with their blade, the turn is lost. If a player drops their blade, they are disqualified and shamed publicly. The first player to 21 points wins. However, a player must hit 21 points exactly. Because of this rule, if a player reaches 20 points, they have lost the game. They cannot cut just one can to reach 21. This means at some point in the game, a player will need to cut three cans to reach 21 and win. Win what? All the booty. <laughs>